Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden with the Geek Group. Today we're going to actually redo a video we did last week because the viewer response on it was just through the roof. So I wanted to cover things in a little bit more detail. This is a brand new in-the-box Audio-Technica AT2010 microphone. And it's fitting because, well, we just had New Year's for 2010. Now, pay close attention so that all you people writing in saying this was faked, yeah, it's not. There is no CGI used in any of the Geek Group videos. The only thing that we do that's computer generated is the titles at the very beginning. That's pretty much it. So watch closely. Here's the microphone in the box. Open the box. Brand new. Here's the microphone. Now we'll make sure that the microphone is in good working order. Now this cable is plugged directly into the camera. So it's a condenser microphone, so it might take a second to come on, but by now you should absolutely hear everything I say crystal clear. You'll notice the audio changed because before we were using the microphone um, that's mounted on the camera itself. Our camera is a JVC HM100U camera. We're using two of them in this particular shoot. We're using the camera that you're seeing me on now and the other camera that you'll see me on when we go over to the control board. But this particular camera will not cut away at any point. There's no edits, there's no weirdness, none of that stuff. Now, what I have over here is a 75,000 volt power supply. This outputs 75,000 volts at one amp direct current. There's actually a, a diode stack inside this bushing tube here. Now, for those of you that are electrical engineers, you will understand that that is 75,000 watts of direct current. This is a massive amount of power. What we're doing is we run that from there. That's the, the output terminal is up here. And there's a small piece of wire that runs down here. It's actually Essex brand high temperature coated magnet wire. And it's about, I want to say, 22 gauge. That goes into here. This is a station post insulator and it's absolutely not rated for 75,000 volts, but because we're using it indoors and it's clean and dry and everything, it seems to be working for now. It goes into a piece of three quarter inch EMT conduit. That's just a regular piece of pipe. There's another piece of magnet wire that comes down. This is, it's actually a spray nozzle out of a sausage factory. <laughs> But we use it on the end here for corona suppression. Um, high voltage wants to jump out of any sharp points, so we put a big mushroom cap on here and that protects it and keeps the corona down a bit. But you can still smell a lot of ozone after we do this in the room. From there we have another piece of magnet wire that comes down here. And on the end is a simple brass plumb bob that we use for all kinds of stuff in the high voltage lab because it's an old broken plumb bob that's missing the tip. Now, here's the part you've been waiting for. I'm going to unplug the microphone. I do this because I don't want to damage the camera and I don't want to feed high voltage directly into the camera. Under this is a eighth inch thick aluminum plate and a small insulator. Now I put the insulator under it so that you can see the microphone is actually conducting the electricity because you'll see the arcs jumping down to the floor. So here we go. All right. So I'm going to hold that like that. Get my cable out of the way. I'm going to put this on the tray and you'll notice there's there's nothing special under here, it's just a ceramic insulator. There's my plate. There's my microphone. And we'll get that all lined up nice and happy. I'm even going to give this a bit of a swing so you can see this is for real. Now there will be two different types of arcs you'll see. You'll see the snappy angry blue arcs. Those are just the straight normal arcs. If it gets a good solid connection, it'll, the sound will change and it'll turn into what looks like a line of fire. That's called a power arc. And when it's doing that, the full power of the transformer, all the current, is being pulled through and there's so much current the arc can't break. So we'll see what we get. Now on this camera over here, I'm walking over to the control panel. I've got my safety key. System is armed. Emergency stop is off. Panel is hot. Here we go.
Okay, the system is now safe, everything's cool. We're going to give this a touch with a ground rub just to make sure everything's happy. Yep. Now this is a safety ground rod connected to a 10 foot, or actually it's an 8 foot long copper rod sunk in the floor. Grab my microphone cable, and Mikey's plugging it into the camera over there. And here's the microphone. Plug it in. And just like that, now you hear me. So yes, the microphone really did survive the shoot. Now we've done it with both of the microphones they've sent us. Um, I'll get some uh, close-up still images of the top here. We have Moose in here right now with a camera. And, and she has her nice Sony camera that we did a review on. Now here, I'll get down the light so you can see it. All right, there. So it is absolutely real. It's completely just by the book. This is a standard lab demonstration. And because of the response that we've got from this, we're actually going to do a whole series of videos on two different things. One, seeing what will survive being blasted with high voltage. And two, seeing just how much abuse this microphone will survive. We'll call it like the indestructible microphone or something. But this is a absolute, unmodified, standard Audio-Technica AT2010 microphone. It's, uh, it's got P48 on the side. I think that might be the capsule or something, but it's simple. Here, take a look inside. I'll show you. There's the capsule. It's shiny and happy and everything just works. Now, in the interest In the interest of full disclosure, I would like to state that Audio-Technica has not paid us any money to do this. Um, Audio-Technica was kind enough to donate the microphones for the demonstration, but they did that just because Audio-Technica donates microphones to the Geek Group for use in our recording studio. This mic was originally destined to be used in our studio, and we just wanted to do a cool demo for Audio-Technica. So I want to thank all the cool guys over at AT. You guys rock out, keep making a great product, and uh, have some fun. I'll see you next time.